Hi, and welcome to another session of reading with me, Miss Nikki. Hello. So, what story do I have for you today? Drum roll, please. Ta da! Who's that? Yes, it's a cat. And what has he got here? got some bowls. How many? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bowls. Huh. Do you know why? That's because he's six. Dinner. Sid. <gasps> six dinners. Can you eat six dinners? I probably could. <laughs> Let's see if Sid can. Sid lived at number one Aristotle Street. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five and number six. Sid lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one, where he might have had chicken, into number two for fish, on to number three for lamb, mince at number four, fish again at number five, rounding off at number six with beef and kidney stew. Mm. Since no one talked to their neighbours in Aristotle Street, no one knew what Sid was up to. They each believed they fed their cat and their cat alone. Look. But Sid had to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pets. He had six different names and six different ways to behave. When he was being Scaramouche, Sid put on swanky ears. Can you be swanky? Hmm. <laughs> As Bob, he had a job. <gasps> What's his job? What's he doing? That's a good job for a mouse. <laughs> for a cat. <laughs> Catching mice. He was naughty as Satan. Hmm. Doing naughty things. And silly as Sally. As Scooty, he smooched. But as Squatch, he had to act rough and tough. Mm. All this work sometimes wore Sid out. But he didn't care, as long as he had six dinners. And besides, he liked being scratched in six different places. Meow. Look, he's getting scratched here, and there. On the head, on the tummy, and sleeping in six different beds. <gasps> Look. Oh, he looks very cosy. In fact, life in Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid. Until, oh no, what's going to happen? One cold, damp day, he caught a nasty cough. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to see the vet. Poor Sid. He was taken not once, not twice. How many times do you think he was taken? That's right, six times. He went with six different people in six different ways. The vet said Sid's, Sid's cough wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded, but to be on the safe side, he should have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't have just one spoonful of medicine. How many did he have? Six. Now, one black cat 
does look much like another, but nobody, not even a busy vet, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, when he checked in his appointment book, the vet found six cats with a cough, all living in Aristotle Street. So he rang the owners at once. And oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered what he'd been up to, Sid's owners were furious. They said he had no business eating so many dinners. Oh dear. They said in future they would make sure he had only one dinner a day. But Sid was a six dinner a day cat. So he went to live at number one Pythagoras place. He also went to live at numbers two, three, four, five, and you guessed it, six. Unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived in Pythagoras Place talked to their neighbours. So right from the start, everyone knew about Sid's six dinners. And because everyone knew, nobody minded. What a greedy cat. <laughs> but, you know, they all spoke to each other and it was okay in the end. I hope you enjoyed that story.